Okay, so following through to my previous video that I made on Monday, we are now after the CPI news and we actually had a really, really good um, trade with gold, um, the Discord server. I made sure to let them know that make sure you watch my previous video so you can be in this trade. Now, there's one thing I wanted to speak about before trading and before I analyze the markets is um, if you see the market, okay, I'm just going to show you a couple candlesticks quickly. If you see a market, for example, this candlestick here where we have a small body and large wicks and you're a small account trader, I recommend not to trade during those times. Now, the reason why I say this is because that's where price is most volatile and price is very indecisive. As you can see, the body's it's quite it's, it's pretty much in the middle of the um the the whole candlestick and the wicks are gr really really long okay and this is something that you know a lot of traders they look at and they be like okay this is a time this is a opportunity for us to make a lot of money but what happens is as a small account you can't hold trades for that long unless you you know work on your risk management and you don't trade for that long now um, I've been saying it for the past two weeks. I've been buying some sales and, you know, I was actually in a sell. And because my stop loss was very tight, um, I actually got stopped out um, before I could actually, you know, take my profit. Now, it's crazy because before I actually don't hold in trades before I sleep. And with the specific trade, I actually fell asleep to this trade. And this is another thing that you need to learn is when you're trading, if you set yourself rules, you need to abide by them. You need to follow these rules because what will happen is the market will, you know, it make you, it basically will make you learn to start learning to hit your rules. So that's something I wanted to make sure you lot understand. If you see, you know, the market having great wicks, personally, to stay out of the market, um, if you're a small trader and if you are trying to trade, scale in and see what the market's actually doing. And if you're 100% confident with the market, go ahead and trade, but make sure you do check your risk management. Again, um, if you would like to see how I trade and you would like to see how you know the Discord server is, go check it out. It's completely free and I will be closing the invite code when I hit um, 100 uh, people on the server. And this is not because I don't want everyone to be in the server. I would love everyone to be in the server. It does get hard to manage. As because I don't have a team behind me, it does get hard to manage more than 100 people. And I get loads of DMs as well. And it's very hard for me to manage. But I am still trying as much as possible. I will open another invite after 100. Um, if I feel like I can manage uh, more than that. But at the moment, uh, make sure you do, do check out the Discord server and check out my Instagram. We finally hit a thousand followers on my Instagram. I'm very, very grateful. And we're going to continue what we're doing and we're going to be on the road and we're going to try and hit more milestones. But for now, we're still back in the market. We're still making money with Forex and we're still growing our community. Okay, so just looking at the market, we said on Monday, and this is why I love about gold is we said on Monday, keep an eye on these T levels and, you know, price at 50, uh, 1958 is right now. That's where price is. And it's crazy because on Monday I set, you know, I normally say that these key levels can last a couple of days, weeks or even months. And it's Wednesday now, two days later. And, you know, we are back in the markets and price is exactly where we want it to be. It's at an area where we want to enter. Now, I'm just going to draw a little box um, just around this, just to show that this is my order. Um, so my order zone. OK. And again, if you don't know, if you haven't seen my videos before, I usually do order zones. Um, this is to uh, signify to me personally that, OK, when price gets to this area, I want to trade. So it saves me from staring at the markets for more than two, three hours looking for entries. OK, it makes me sit set rules to myself. So, OK, if price is anywhere between here, I'm not trading. Even though I'm so tempted to trade, I will not trade only because it would be a very, very large stop loss. But when price gets to my order zone, now I've got a better entry for a longer term sell. So what my uh, moves are at the moment is price has broke structure. OK, price has broken um, this low over here and it's continuing to I'm guessing it's going to continue to, uh, you know, go to the downside. 
But the thing is, at the moment, we're still kind of indecisive. You know, we're in some sort of consolidation where price, you know, goes up, comes back down to here, goes up, goes back down and goes up again. OK, now price did the exact same thing. If I draw another support box, price did the exact same thing over here where price has gone to this point three times. Normally, when you have a double bottom, you know, twice you can buy over here um, again. I'm looking for price to either smash through the 1958 uh, price or it's just going to reject and come back down to the 1942 or 1940 area. So again, I'm just going to add that on to um, the key levels. 1940 is another area that um, I think everyone should have an eye on as well. OK, because it's rejected three times in a four hour time scale. That means it could potentially come back to that level and possibly even smash if USD shows strength. Now, in CPI news, we know that USD showed a lot of strength. Hence why we've got a really, really strong body on the four hour chart. Price moved around, you know, almost it was way more than I think it was 100 pips, way more than 100 pips. And, um, you know, we had we had um, let me see if I can see if i can let's have a look it was 186 pips around 200 pips price moved okay oops and um this is something that is quite normal in gold actually especially after the news but again now that we've seen that move we want to now collect some pips okay so let's go straight into the one hour chart let's have a look at what we're looking at again Price is slowing down. What we're going to do is we're going to use my favorite tool, the Fibonacci tool, Fibonacci retrace and put it from the highest point to the lowest point. OK, you can see that price is at our um, zone where 61.8 extension and the 50 uh, uh, are in between these two right now. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for price to either bounce off and come back here and then continue down or just if you for me personally i'm probably even going to trade this now i look it looks like a really nice entry is look for either a sell or a buy depending on how this candlestick closes if price decides to break these low wicks i am looking to sell so let's say if price breaks below these low wicks i'm looking to sell price above these uh this high over here looking for price to be probably around 70 to 80 pips OK, for stop loss and take profit will be all the way down to around 150 pips. So this is I know the stop loss is very high and this is only because I don't want to be in the market where, you know, price can still go up. Price can, you know, still um, make its way to up here and I don't want to lose too much profit if it does. If price does go up here, it just means that I can get a better entry. So again, my entry point is looking like um, 1955. OK. And let me just uh, make it 1955, nice round figure. So 1955, if price breaks those low wicks, we're looking for an entry. Again, if you're looking for entries, go on the 15 minute chart. Okay, we can see price is rejecting a lot over here. We see a nice rejection candlestick over here as well. But first, wait for price to break these lows to enter. If anything, it will break and retest these lows and then continue to the downside. So make sure you go check, um, go have a look at the market and make sure you are on top of this entry. OK, now, usually when I am looking to enter the market, I do spend at least an hour or two just, you know, looking at each and every candlestick, making sure the entry is. I don't procrastinate with entries, but I do make sure that I don't miss an entry. OK, especially when prices near my order zone, this is where I like to look at the market, especially as it's 5 p.m. now. So, you know, I am looking and I will actually send this to my Discord server right now after I've recorded this video so that they can see it again. Go check out my Discord server. Go follow my Instagram. I send I do multiple motivational videos, tips and tricks, um, how to use certain indicators, anything. And you can DM me and uh, feel free to DM me for any advice and I will try and message back. Other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out the Discord server for this entry and see the updates on this. And make sure you subscribe, like this video, 